Okay, right here is a 2000 Hitachi EX750-5. The EX750 was first introduced by Hitachi in 1996 as a replacement for the older EX700 model. The new EX750 was not only a much heavier hydraulic excavator, but also offered faster cycle times and more stability when compared to the older EX700. The EX750 was offered with two different boom sizes and four different stick sizes to meet all job requirements. Now, let's go and get a closer look at the EX750. The EX750 was available from Hitachi in either front shovel or backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer preferred. In front shovel configuration, the EX750 was designed to swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from 4.7 to 5.7 cubic yards. Two different shovel buckets were offered for this machine. A front dump bucket and a bottom dump bull clam style bucket. In backhoe configuration, the EX750 was designed to swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from as small as 2.6 cubic yards to as large as 5.3 cubic yards. And on the back of the stick, you can see the single bucket cylinder to curl the bucket in and out. And on the top of the boom, you can see the single cylinder to push the stick in and out. To help give you an idea of the size of an EX750, this machine measures 11 feet 7 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cap and 12 feet 10 inches wide. The EX750 features double reverse lip seals on the front pins to keep grease in and to extend the life of the pin bushing. And if you look right here on the side of the cab, you can see the metal plate that says Hitachi Construction Machinery. And the model type, you can see where it says EX750-5. Twenty-six inch crawler shoes were standard for the EX750. However, Hitachi also offered optional wider 30 inch and 35 inch crawler shoes for applications requiring higher flotation. And this machine has two travel speeds. 2.9 miles per hour at high travel speed and 2.1 miles per hour at low travel speed. Now, let's go up inside the operator's cab. From here, you can get a good overview of the inside of the cab on an EX750. Okay. The two joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the digging functions of the excavator out in front, or if the machine were set up with a front shovel attachment. The two hand levers that you see out in front of the operator seat connect to the two foot pedals on the floor, and this is how you travel this machine. Each pedal controls each individual track, just like on a smaller hydraulic excavator. Off to the right side you can see the control panel with all the gauges, warning lights, and other switches to control other various functions on this machine. The EX750 has three available working modes. The standard power mode, E mode, which stands for economy mode, and SP mode, which stands for super power 
or super production mode. The operator can choose the optimum working mode that best suits the job conditions on this machine. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an EX750. Located directly behind the operator's cab is a utility storage compartment, which you can see right here. Now inside of this compartment, here you can see the hydraulic pumps on the EX750. This machine uses two variable displacement axial piston main pumps to provide its fluid power. Here you can see the air cleaner and below the air intake for the engine. Okay, below this cover that you see on the back of the excavator sits the diesel engine. Let's check it out. And right here you can see the big Cummins diesel engine that powers this machine. It's a model N14C, four cycle, direct injection, after cooled, and turbocharged diesel engine that produces 434 horsepower for this excavator which is 20 horsepower more when compared to the older EX700. If you look down here in between the superstructure, you can see the two axial piston swing motors that will swing the excavator left and right when it's running. Off to the left side sits a 90 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right there. And here you can see all the hydraulic lines running out to power the excavator attachment in the front. On the right side sits a 219 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. And you can see the cap to fill the tank with fuel. Inside of this compartment, here you can see where the batteries are stored on the EX750. And right here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. From under here you can get a good view of where the two travel motors are located to propel each individual track. Each crawler is driven by an axial piston motor. And as you can see, both the motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors are encased inside of these metal shields to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the excavator is in operation. And for more extreme operating conditions, Hitachi offered a more heavy-duty version of the EX750 known as the EX800H, which featured 
a head guard integrated cab to protect the operator from falling objects, an emergency evacuation window located in the rear of the cab, and also a reinforced undercarriage and track guards. And the overall working weight of an EX750 in backhoe or mass excavator configuration, as you see right here, can range anywhere from 80 to 84 and a half tons. In front shovel configuration, the EX750 weighs in at 85 tons. The EX750 was built up until 2002 when it was replaced with the newer ZX800 model. But there she is, a 2000 Hitachi EX750-5.